U.S. President Donald Trump is vowing to step up so-called extreme vetting of foreigners after a truck was driven into cyclists and pedestrians in New York City. Eight people were killed, five of them from Argentina. The 29-year-old suspect was shot at the scene in Lower Manhattan and taken to hospital. Gabriel Elizondo has the latest. A frightening sight of mangled bicycles after a deadly truck attack just blocks from the September 11th memorial. Police say a man deliberately drove this rental truck into a bike path, mowing down cyclists and pedestrians, causing multiple deaths and injuries. Yeah, everyone started running, then we started running too. We were all anticipating like a gunshot in any minute. According to authorities, after striking the pedestrians and cyclists, the truck traveled several blocks before crashing into a school bus with kids on board. An eyewitness filmed this video moments after the crash. He told us this is the suspect who fled the truck. Uh, I, th I thought it's something, maybe it might be something from the Halloween, but when I heard the gunshot, then I got it. I really scared. We're going down to the next corner. Police shot the suspect, a 29-year-old male, and took him into custody. The suspect is reported to be Saifulo Saipov from Uzbekistan. Authorities say the suspect made a statement when he got out of his truck. Those words are why officials are considering this an act of terror. Let me be clear that based on the information we have at this moment, this was an act of terror. And a particularly cowardly act of terror aimed at innocent civilians, aimed at people going about their lives who had no idea what was about to hit them. The governor is calling on New Yorkers to carry on with their lives. We felt the pain before, we feel the pain today, uh, but we go forward together and we go forward stronger than ever. While it's being investigated as a potential act of terror, the governor said there are no indications of any wider plot or threat to the city. Nevertheless, the police say they'll have extra officers out in force in the coming days, just to be sure. Rosando, Al Jazeera, New York.